Okay, let's take a look at uh, building the tunnel triangle frames. We've done the dome ones, and um, we've got we, we typically have the angle that we have here, um, and it goes all on all the frames and makes the dome. The tunnel ones are slightly different. What we have is we have an angle, same as the domes, that goes thin, top, thicker at the bottom. We we put all our frames this way on all the triangles. Now you'll see, notice on the plans that there's a negative angle. This one here, again, it slopes thin at the top, thick at the bottom. But when we go to the bottom, look at this. It slopes the opposite way, very slightly. Instead of thin at the top, thick at the bottom, it's thin at the bottom and thick at the top. This is what we call on the plans a negative angle. So if you ever see a negative angle, that's what it means. Instead of the frame curving round this way, it actually kicks in on itself. We have to do that on a tunnel to get the shape to fit together. We're using the um, equilateral pattern. So the pattern is exactly the same as the equilateral triangle for the GD5. Uh, it's exactly the same, so we, you don't have to make a new pattern. You just have to remember to put your negative angle on. So you've got two positive angles and one negative angle. Right, the next thing about this negative angle is, you'll notice if you look at the top, that, that's the thickness, thin to thick. And we'll notice that this is much thicker because it's thick to thin. But the, when I turn it over, which is, this is the outside of the dome, that there is the same as that. But this is the thin section of the inverse angle timber. So on one side, all the frame is all exactly the same thickness. Flip it over, and because of the angle difference, that's thin and that's thick. So this becomes the join on a tunneled uh, dome. I'll, I'll get a mod. Okay, we can probably explain this a little better by making a model. I've made a paper model of the GD5 uh, tunnel dome. Now if we draw a line here, this point here, get my pencil. This is where the dome stops and the tunnel begins. Similarly, at this side, the dome stops here and the tunnel's joined. So you can join this section to this section and make a standard GD5 potting shed dome. But what we've done is we, we've added this central section here. Now, uh, as I was talking before about the negative angles, if we look closely, you can just see, I'm gonna span down, that, that this angle here is negative. It comes down to here, down to here. And this one is too. That's a negative angle. So is this one, this one, and this one. So what we end up with, all the negative angles run round here. That's a negative angle. There, and there. And these are all positive standard dome angles. So, back to the frame. This is our negative angle here. This is the outside of the dome, and that's our positive angle. It's pretty simple. Um, as long as as long as this, you, the frames are cut exactly the same way. Cut that off by hand. They're built exactly the same way as normally. But you just have to remember that the bottom of one strut is a negative angle, and all the rest are positive. We'll look at putting the frame together next. Okay, let's work down and look at some of these bottom triangles. Obviously, uh, they look complicated. We, oh, we've got another triangle to make, but these are dead simple. I'll show you how to make them. We take one of these, standard tunnel one. I'll show you here, like this, on the pattern. Right, it's a standard uh, equilateral. Uh, it has a negative angle on it. 
like that. Now the negative angle is this join down here. So we we know that the negative angle is here, right? So the, the these little triangles here are half of one of these. To make them, hang on, I'll just have to wander over here. What we do is we put a noggin down the middle, a bit of two by two, centre of here, like that, and screwed into the end. Keep away from the centre if you can. Uh, this bottom of that, that's your negative angle. Ooh, I've got, yeah, that's your negative angle. Sloping back. Mark it with a pen, like that in the centre, and then go on your saw and cut it into two triangles. It takes about five minutes. So now you have two triangles. They are left and right handed. If we do if we put these together like that, you'll notice that it's a mirror. So this when this goes up, that goes up. And look at that as well. The negative angle is a mirror. We need two mirrors because obviously this one here is a mirror of that one. And that one there on the end is a mirror of this one on this end. Now we're going to look at pre-assembling the uh, tunnel triangle frames. Right, what we have, we have a stack here of all the uh, tunnel triangles. They're all exactly the same. We have our halves stood here. So they're exactly the same, but I showed you how to make halves of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it together. Now there are some issues with this. What we do is, mostly, we put them together like this, normally. We swing it around so the top points are together. But on, on the tunnel we don't do that. Um, these two here are the positive angles, and the bottom one has the negative angle on it. So what we do is, we take it and we flip it upside down. So now we have... Uh, a negative angle at the bottom, negative angle at the top here. And all the ones down the centre are the positive angles. Right, that in itself raises an issue. Because because of this negative angle, what we've got is this going on. This comes past because it's obviously it slopes the other way. So we have to cut that off to proceed to the next step. I'll do that now. Right. I've trimmed that off. See there? You can just see how that's been cut. Just put the saw flush to here and cut it straight off. Now we'll assemble the next panel and you can see what happens with the next panel. Here we go. That goes there and look how nicely that fits. Now we end up with a totally flat ring of the dome. I'll show you on the model what we're doing. We're building one of these rings. So the, th the thick side's here and the thick side's here. We're, our trim's, little trim is here and we'll put them together. I'll put a few together to get so you can see uh, exactly what I'm Right, one quick point to remember when you're building this dome. Right, I'm gonna, you can see how it overlaps in the, and uh, that's the bit that you trim off here. Right, I'm, I'm on the inside of the dome. Uh, that's how you cut it off. Now it's very easy to put it together like that. But you'd have to nick, take the nick on the outside and that's wrong. So make sure when you put it together that you have the outside lined up correctly and the, the little sliver to come off is on the inside. <laughs> 